Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a random reading for um, this full moon lunar eclipse. Okay, this is for the 27th through the 30th of July for all signs. We're just going to see what comes up for energy that I can pick up today. Keep in mind that this meeting, this reading uh, may not be for you. If it feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Um, I have been on vacation for a week at the ocean, so I do apologize for my absence, but it was very well needed. Change is on the horizon. Big change with the Wheel of Fortune. A new chapter is about to start. Destiny is playing out. Whew. Look at the reversals. Oh my gosh. There's somebody has been feeling incomplete, incomplete, um, empty on the inside, you know, feeling like a lack of abundance, a lack of security, a lack of stability. Uh, things have been a little chaotic. You may have feeling like things are a mess right now. Things are chaotic. You may be, you know, before I started this reading, I saw the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands gets so excited that sometimes he trips over his own feet, drops things, runs into things. Uh, runs into hurdles along the way because he acts impulsively so just keep in mind that right now things are a little chaotic maybe you need to slow down a little bit during this time just just I'm here to tell you to slow down otherwise you know you could you could end up costing yourself some money you could get yourself into a financial mess if you act impulsively now the fool is very impulsive as well and this is reckless behavior so during this time be careful not to be too naive the energies are super 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 strong and they're going to be pulling you in directions probably you know many different directions at one time you know because what's happening is we are evolving and we're changing and right now everybody's destiny and, and not everybody's but many people's destiny has changed and so I mean this reading right here is for a collective we have the wheel of fortune a new chapter is beginning good luck is on the way the Wheel of Fortune is karma. It's destiny. Whatever is happening is bringing you closer to your life's purpose. But how you react will, will position you wherever you're going to be. So be careful about how you react. Do not act recklessly because the fool in reverse is somebody who is naive and reckless. And therefore, it causes worry. It causes them to lose sleep. It causes problems in their life when you act recklessly. It does. Because then you get yourself into trouble. So just keep yourself, keep yourself, try to keep yourself as, um, <laughs> let me get some more cards. I was going to say paced out as possible. You know, try not to get too excited with, with these changes that are happening or with these energies that are pulling you in every single direction. It's like, you may not know if you're coming or going, where you're going, if you're going here, if you're going there. You may change your mind at the spur of the moment. You may all of a sudden feel worried. You know, maybe I shouldn't do that, but or maybe you decide to go do something, and then you get yourself, and then you you've already started on that path, and then you get this overwhelming feeling of worry, like oh shit, maybe I shouldn't have done that. So I'm here to tell you to be careful. Just be careful, okay? Oh, there's that page of wands I was just talking about. Love it when that happens. Let me zoom this in. Um, I just want you to see how excited he is. I mean, he's really excited. He wants to just shout to the world how excited he is. Okay? He, he's just like, hey. He's like, hey. You know, he's really excited. He's ready to jump. He's ready to leap. He's ready to... Um, scream out to the world what his plans are you know he's like very enthusiastic about what's going on um he's excited for this new adventure that's in front of him but 
he may not see that there's obstacles so just I'm here to say be careful be careful um, You know, there could be some breakups, and there is there is probably going to be some breakups on the horizon with the, with the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups. People could be, you know, deciding, you know what, I can't, I can't, um, I can't be a part of this family feud anymore. I can't be a part of this instability. I have to remove myself from this dynamic. You know, some people are feeling like, you know what, there's too much chaos here. There's too much, there's too much disorganization. I have to remove myself from that because I am looking for something better suited for me. This can also signify I, somebody that is better suited for you. So keep in mind that there could be somebody coming into your life that is suited better for you than whoever this is that needs to be this this closure that needs to happen okay because the, the world card is closure some sort of relationship dynamic that somebody has been stuck in needs closure it needs it needs to end somebody needs to step over the finish line so that they can have this new exciting opportunity this new chapter begin i feel like somebody has been holding on to something that no longer serves them and I think that now they have decided that you know what I've lost enough sleep I am it's time for me to let this go it's time for me to to go down this new road it's time for me to start this new chapter of my life I see that somebody is going to start a new chapter and it's the end of a difficult time you know that things have been too chaotic and too too disorganized to even keep going down this road I feel like it's time to be practical I've decided that I need to be practical I need to be responsible and I need to have stability in my life so I need to close the door to the these these feuds the, this feuding that's been going on between us whoever it is so I feel like somebody decides that it's time it's time for me to get excited for the future um, now with the world card reverse, there's somebody has been feeling lost, holding on to a relationship for quite some time. And it's been and this relationship hasn't been going anywhere. They've been feeling lost and empty and incomplete. But I feel like now is the time that it's it's to realize that you have a new opportunity. I think that that's what's happening. I think people are letting go of what no longer serves them. I've been reckless. I have been naive. I have been taken advantage of for too long. And I can no longer let myself lose sleep over this. It's time for the wheel to spin. It's time for my new life. It's time for destiny to play out. And destiny is coming in. This is the wheel of karma. The wheel of fate. Okay, fate is coming in to bring you something better suited for you after you have been through a chaotic, difficult time. This period of difficulty is now over within a relationship. So this is relationship related, whether it's a loving relationship, a family relationship, or whatever it is, a work relationship. There's been too much loss, too much chaos, too much disorganization, not enough communication. And somebody has decided, you know, I need to bring back. I need to be responsible. I need to bring back my stability and my security and do the right thing for me. It's time for me to buckle down and and be practical here. So I, I really feel as though there's been a... cycle that someone has stayed in for, for quite some time. And maybe, you know, it's been, mm, could be 10 years, could be 10 months. But this cycle is now ending. There's a cycle that's now ending because there's no more growth. And there's a new exciting opportunity that's being given to you via destiny, fate. Okay, there's a new opportunity being handed to you. Let's get some more cards. I want to get some clarifiers here.
the Five of Cups reverse is a new oper a new prospect, a new opportunity, the end of death difficulty, a new prospect in love, a new relationship. The old relationship goes away and a new one comes in with somebody that you are better suited for or with. There's been a lack of togetherness, a lack of communication, like I said. Somebody has not been communicating in a relationship, therefore the other person is no longer, or both of them, are, there's no more compatibility. When there's no communication, there's no more compatibility. And I feel like somebody has come to the realization that this is no longer compatible. It's time for me to step over the finish line. And even if you don't feel that way, Destiny, fate is, is helping. They're, they, You know, it is what it is. Sometimes you can't control your destiny. There's been too much disorder, too much disorganization and incompatibility, a lack of partnership here, okay? There, there, a lack of togetherness. There's been a lack of, of union between two people. So somebody has come to the conclusion that, you know what? I'm excited for the future. I'm very excited. It's time for me to just let this go stop being naive and it's like this is heaven said this is a wish this is a dream come true this is um wish fulfillment it's like the the universe god angel spirit have heard your prayers they've heard your wish they've heard your demands but i have to tell you that you cannot make somebody fall in love with you you can't make the 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 ex that isn't coming back, come back. You can't manifest that. You can wish for it, but the universe or fate or destiny will bring you what you, what is best suited for you. So that's what's happening here. Destiny is bringing you what is best suited for you, whether that's what you wish for or not. Say you wished for, say, just as just an example, you wished for your ex, you wished for your ex to come back. But, but as the written script says, that X was just supposed to be in your life for a season. But you're wishing, you're wishing, you're wishing, you're wishing, you're wishing. You just want love. I just want love. I just want love. I just want love. But that person's all I know. That person's what I know. But, but you're really wanting love deep down in your subconscious. Deep down in your subconscious, you're wanting love. So here, this right here, this is like the universe or... Heaven granting your wish. Okay? So for some of you, your wish is being granted. But I don't I don't I don't see it being an X at this point. Okay? I feel like the ties with the X have been broken. It's 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 no long or they're being broken. It no longer serves you. There's no more love in that dynamic. We were talking about the X, and this is what comes up. That the ties that have bound you together with the X are now broken. And for those of you that are not fighting it, destiny is bringing you somebody that is better suited for you. But for those of you that are still holding on, there's going to still be a feeling of incomplete and lost and emptiness on the inside. But somebody is also restoring control. They are restoring control after they let go of this situation that didn't turn out to be happily ever after, whatever it was. You know, with the Ten of Pentacles reversed and the Ace of Cups reversed and the Two of Cups reversed. Somebody is letting go of a relationship that didn't turn out to be happily ever after. And the universe or fate, destiny, heaven is coming in to bring them something that is better suited for them. Somebody has come to the realization that there is nothing left. There's nothing left in the past. I'm ready. I'm excited for the new. I'm excited for this new, bold, adventurous opportunity. And so, you know, I think that destiny is bringing somebody new into your life. 
because somebody has decided to let go and restore. Break that tie. The devil reversed is breaking that tie. I mean, it is what it is, right? We're going to get some oracle cards. I feel like the universe is going to be granting some wishes. I can't even talk. Some wishes over this, the next... Oh, three months? Two to three months? And I know this is for the, you know, the eclipse, but this is when I'm doing the reading. But I think the wish fulfillment will happen in the next two to three months. It could happen now. It could. There is a new exciting opportunity that is going to be offered to you, whether it's today or in the next two to three months. Okay. Focus on service. Your soul desires only to joyfully serve and to swim in a constant stream of bliss. This stream continuously feels or feeds you everything you need. Put your entire focus upon staying in this stream of giving and receiving in every situation and in all that you do. This stream continuously feeds you in everything you need. It is. You are being given everything you need. Trust. Trust the process. What's happening is, is an old relationship that somebody has hold, held on to is being released. Whether it's a love relationship, a family relationship, a work relationship, this is what's happening here. And as it gets released and somebody restores control over their life, they're being given a new opportunity that is better suited for them. Trustworthy guidance. You've received a wonderful idea as an answer to your prayers. This idea is real and trustworthy. You can safely move forward with it knowing that we are with you every step of the way. Ask for and be open to receiving our support for anything that, anything that you need related to this idea. We're going to get one of these too. So, my advice is for this weekend is it that you are holding on to anything that is a dead end, you need to let it go. There's been somebody that has been hanging on to some sort of relationship that has no stability, has no security, has no partnership, has no compatibility, there's a lot of fighting, there's a lot of arguing, there's no togetherness, there's no communication, there's a lot of chaos, there's a lot of disorder, and the universe is trying to bring you something new and they're waiting for you to let go. That's what I see. They're waiting. You have a new opportunity waiting to be handed to you. Look to your inner strength. You are stronger than you realize. Let's get one of these angel romance cards too. Wish fulfillment is on the way. That's what I see. For those of you that find their strength to let go of this partnership. I mean with the two of pentacles, the two of cups... I mean, come on now, that's a partnership. There's a partnership, relationship, that is no longer compatible. It takes strength. A lot of people stay in a situation that is going nowhere because they lack strength.
Mm. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Absolutely. It's out of your control. Destiny. The Wheel of Fortune is destiny. Good luck. It's the universe bringing you good luck to change your course. This is like angel protection with the star card and the Wheel of Fortune card. This is protection. Whatever didn't work out, you were being protected. Trust it. You can't control it. It's out of your control. Let go of what no longer serves you so that this new opportunity can come right in. And that's what I have. Talk to you later.